Hey everybody, welcome to the podcast. Today we had our friend Paul on the show. Um, he was one of our first guests that we had. Uh, he actually was in the first episode that we did video in, which was way back whenever, and then we stopped doing it again. But um, yeah, we had a pretty good podcast. We did probably two hours, so please enjoy. really don't know oh, like led yellow is weird like i i have a on my phone it gives me that led light like yours does yeah but it, when i get like a snapchat message it's, it's yellow it's yellow but it's like a weird yellow really mine's a very distinct yellow oh can you hand me that yellow phone it's like a corn yellow you know what right I mean? by your knee this yellow one yeah that yellow one with this yellow Bulbasaur on it, you yeah, I shouldn't be chewing double bubble. It's a, uh, yeah, that's terrible. You can for... just swallow it. Oh no, you don't. Why? Because it stays inside you forever. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> so so oh, <laughs> so does every so does everything else that's good. Yeah, yeah, like like me. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> stay say. inside you. you stay forever. inside me forever. It's <laughs> true. Uh, true, not true. Cool, cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so, PUBG, dude. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm meeting Crow this fucking past few days because I did nothing but talk shit about PUBG ever <laughs> since it became a popular thing. Because everyone played it and then... And I hated it. That's what happens is people don't and like it because like everybody plays five, it. <laughs> five days ago, a week ago on your birthday, you gifted me PUBG so we could play together. And I have not fucking stopped. I can't stop. Yeah, you can pull that in. I'm not even that good at it. It's there just... Go. It's fun. It's really fun. And it doesn't run well at all. No. It, it doesn't it, run it, it, well on the top tier console. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like that's that. the problem. It's like it doesn't run well on PC. And I'm playing it on Xbone S. And it's, it's good. Like I was saying the other night, the only problem I have with it is that the map doesn't load in at the beginning at the beginning and I got shafted for the first time last night cause I dropped in with a bunch of other dudes and the map must have loaded in for them right away because I watched them run into where a door should be but it just looked like a bunch of play-doh to me um, and I they think, they ran out and just killed me instantly they must have had an SSD or something I think if you have the <laughs> Xbox One X it runs better that's dumb like it's it that's it's a elitism console. it's a more powerful console so that's it makes true. sense I want to get an X. Is it like the Slim, but just it looks exactly the same? It's just black, and it's got a better, it's got better hardware. Okay. Doesn't it have an SSD? Oh. You can get one for an S, though. Yeah, you just because I was this guy was telling me to just get a tiny one. Yeah. Took effort to block my burp, and it did nothing. That's fine. And it's the game's only seven or eight gigs anyway, so you can get like a thirty or forty or fifty or sixty or eight gig SSD, and it'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> good point. Good point. Valid, truly. But other than that, we played the Master Chief Collection for your birthday too, like I mean, all day. Yeah, and I've been playing a shit ton of that too. It just, uh, like honestly, PUBG runs okay when you're after it's loaded in. Yeah. Until you're in a vehicle. <laughs> that, too. If you're a passenger in a vehicle, you're fucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, uh... Because you can't see anything. If you drive, like, I got in a buggy earlier, and I went, like, halfway across the map, and I got out of the vehicle, and the map was still... I was standing still, but the map was still moving. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't... It, it's like... You know in Scrubs, there's that one scene where JD is, like, depressed, and he's standing still, but everything's passing him by and all that? Yeah. It was that, but with the earth. <laughs> so it was just... It was fucked. Yeah. Yeah, they do that... I feel like they do that shot all the time in Scrubs. Yeah. Or it, it's, like a time la it's like a time lapse, but he, like, walks through it, basically. Yeah. Must, like, uh, crawl through it. If they're, like, time-lapsing everything, he's probably just, like... 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder like how they snailing. do that. Or they just make, or they just superimpose him into it. That's more likely. So they're just like, they're, they hit the camera, they're like, all right, everybody just run around really, really fast for like 30 seconds or just do a normal thing for like 60 seconds. And then they speed it up super fast so it makes right, it yeah. look like they're doing a bunch of shit. <laughs> you do, do this for f- medium speed. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. And then you do this real fast. <laughs> yeah. And then, janitor, you just stand there and stare at him off screen. Yeah, just creep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody's going to see him there, but that's something you do. Yeah. Stay in character. <laughs> that had to be the most fun uh, cast to be a part of. That just seems like the most fun show. I could I could imagine it because they're all just still ridiculous. best friends. Yeah, right. They just have a great time on set. And... Yeah, I feel like Sonny's like that too, though. Sonny was like they, they just shot like a pilot with. They were just friends, and they shot a pilot. Yeah. Yeah. And then somehow it got picked up. I don't even remember exactly what the story is. Yeah, Daniel but I know Lee... Rob McElhenney like knew, had like some kind of connection or something. And yeah. Charlie was already doing acting at the time. Yeah, because one of the McPoyle brothers and Charlie uh, are like were already actors. Yep, I know that for sh- for sure. Yeah, both of the McPoyle brothers did like minor roles in movies. Yeah, there's one that's in the. Uh... He's in that new uh, OJ thing. The Polar yeah. Express. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, the Polar Express. They should remake the Polar Express, but with OJ. But with OJ. <laughs> it's, to- it's Tom Hanks. It's character. the OJ chase, but they're in a train. <laughs> He's in a fucking train instead. <laughs> the Bronco Express. <laughs> It's every every car of the train. It's just a fucking white Bronco. How do you even catch a train? Like, I feel like if you hijack a train, you got like a pretty good amount of control. Like, you can't really cut it off. You know what I mean? I thought you the, were that's about the, to... that's the problem. And you can't pull it over. No. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, if you hijacked a train, you must have pretty good cardio <laughs> yeah that too though yeah, <laughs> yeah. takes a lot to pull those levers yeah. well you gotta do a lot of you gotta go and... up and down the train so oh that's just a lot of movement and yeah that. there's a lot of people you have to hijack <laughs> give me your money nobody, nobody does that anymore you never hear that because what's pro- the point yeah. <laughs> i feel like most like if you're hijacking something you're trying to like do something like you're trying to prove you, a plane or something. Maybe? I mean, yeah. I feel like with a plane, you can control it and bring it anywhere you want. Uh, mostly in the buildings though. Yeah. With a train, you're pretty much, <laughs> you're pretty, pretty limited yeah. to where you can and can't go. Yeah. But what if that's the point though? What if they're like, they just what if it's like it an angry conductor that they got just want to, <laughs> he's just like, I am the best conductor. He brings a 12 gauge on board. And... Yeah. And just to irritate passengers. Like, yeah. what the fuck? We just passed our stop. Yeah, he's like, fuck you, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> I should have never retired. He just... <laughs> he <laughs> retired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't get fired. Yeah. He retired and comes back to yeah. hijack the train. I should have never just... quit. <laughs> <laughs> just good drunk, drunk, good drunk. Train's not even moving. <laughs> it's like... Rick, you gotta go. Fuck you. <laughs> I've never looked into what it takes to drive a train. You don't drive a train. You lead a train. Yeah, I guess. You don't drive a plane. You pilot. You fly you a plane. fly a plane. Uh, I, guess. I guess. You so. conduct a train. I guess if you yeah you, you pilot a, it. you pilot a plane. <laughs> you can yeah like Mister Quirk. <laughs> <laughs> Or um, it's like the levers in uh, Human Fall Flat. That's all it is. It's just those levers that you pull forward and backwards. Well, they got the idea from trains from Mario Party because there's <laughs> levers in Mario Party that move like those cars and stuff on the tracks. <laughs> Someone was playing Mario Party and they're like, "Hey, we should make a vehicle we should make that these controls huge, like that, like way bigger." <laughs> I 
I always took away from Mario Party the trains. <laughs> like mm-hmm. that's where that com- comes well, together. Well, yeah, don't they have they have trains that are like you stand on one side, I stand on the other, and they like pump. Yeah, they're like a like teeter totter, um, right? Yeah, I can't remember what they call those. Oh, uh, yeah, but they have those in like mines and stuff like that. Like, a yeah. mine cart. Yeah. It's kind of like a mine cart. Yeah, so they probably invented that and they were like, fuck, let's make a big one. But then they couldn't get enough people. <laughs> <laughs> they get tired. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I know. I feel shit like that's exhausting. You. Like, I feel like you could just walk. <laughs> like, yeah, but you're going like significantly faster. It's I mean, like I bikes guess. are bikes are exhausting, but bikes are way faster. What happens when there's hills though? Do you have to like really You're fucked. You gotta yeah. change the gear. Well you they put the... one they put one uh cart in between each hill. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get to the end of the hill you just kinda kick it and it goes back and then you go up the hill, down the hill, back to the next <laughs> cart. That seems like it could be that's basically a zip line. You might as well just have yeah. a zip line. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what we were talking about. Oh. But on tracks instead of lines. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just mm-hmm. a zipline on tracks. Zip line on so that's basically what a train is. Is what we're trying to say. It's basically yeah. a zipline. <laughs> they're fucking useless, man. <laughs> like they're, I mean, they still get used, but I think it's just because all these companies that use trains can't use planes. I feel like most of the time it's used like just for big shipments of cargo. Yeah, because they can't afford to use a plane. I mean, I guess. Or they I mean, just... if you could afford it. And you had the expertise. Would you rather drive everywhere or fly everywhere? Mm. I've never flown, so I'd probably drive. But I'd like to fly. So I maybe feel like I'd the difference is that uh, if you time. crash in a car, you're gonna you might survive. <laughs> if you're in a plane, you're fucking dead. Well, just don't crash, idiot. I mean, I guess that's you don't have to crash the plane. You don't. No. <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking like. You had to crash it. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't. I guess it really comes down to where you're going. Yeah, because if I'm going to like Walmart, I'm not flying to Walmart. Yeah, you well, might as well just take a train. Though, <laughs> if it's a helicopter now, that might that might be the deal breaker for me. Like I'm a like, tiny one, like just for you, <laughs> yeah. and like, like a groceries. personal helicopter. Yeah, right. A one man. They. I'm pretty sure they make or stuff shit for like Rash that. and Clank. Like Rash and Clank has the the jetpack. I guess that's what I'm saying. I just want a jetpack. Yeah. That's what we're getting at, basically. Yep. Trains are basically worse versions of jetpacks that are restricted to land and yeah. are very slow and inconvenient unless you can afford a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a train can hold a lot more cargo than a plane, though. Yeah, right. but if you can afford it, you can get a bigger plane. Yeah, but if you could afford it, you could get a bigger train. Yeah, but the plane's faster. Yeah, but... You don't have to. Again, I feel like it comes down to where, like, where you're going. Yeah, if you're going from here to Walmart, you're gonna take a train. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna take a plane. If you're crossing, <laughs> if you're crossing the the water, then you're taking a train. No, they can't go in water. I mean, I can. Do they make I, trains that go in water? I guess they're boats. Chance. Do they make boat trains? Those are just boats. They make planes that can just, go in water. I think it's just a boat. They're called submarines. Oh yeah, they go. That's like reverse. That's more like a. Did you say a bus? Because it's like, that... a, it's like a plane. That's a. It's like a plane for underwater. Okay, okay. I was gonna say it's more like a bus for underwater. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> if you could, uh, if if you could have any superpower. But you had to get rid of your dominant hand. What would it be? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you had to get rid of your dominant hand to get any superpower you wanted, what superpower would it be? Could you just keep your dominant no. hand and not get it? <laughs> no, 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 no. no not, so no, your not only option, one. your only option is to lose your dominant hand. Yeah, and, and then have you a can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Mine would be to grow dominant hands. <laughs> <laughs> but the also trade off on that is that they don't come attached. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. You don't know where it's growing from. <laughs> it doesn't come out of your stump. It'll come out of like your chest. Maybe the next time it'll come out of your taint. 
<laughs> they're like skin tags with their fully formed hands. I was thinking you just like grow Only a dominant hand. dominant hands, though. <laughs> you just like, with your nump, you're just like, Alakazam! <laughs> and it's just like a nump of a Or hand. like every time you try Severed and grow hand. a plant, it's just, it's hands. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be even better. You just, I would just take, you just I would just... Like, you just take one of those, those grass seed things, try and plant grass... Hey, neighbor, how's the grass growing? Going? It's just fingers uh, it's, and hands. It's going okay. Fucking a week later. Just hands everywhere. <laughs> they're moving, too. Oh, so it's... They're not even moving the wind. They're just grabbing for something. <laughs> grabbing for prey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I would have telekinesis, because then I don't need a dominant hand. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, I don't know, I feel like I would just take off my left hand, then I'd grow a dominant hand for my left hand, then I'd have two dominant hands. Oh. You yeah, but you'd also have backwards thumbs? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you just flip it around. You, you just put it on the other way. You're opening you'd have to buy two sets like... of, You'd have to buy two sets of fingerless gloves every time you wanted fingerless gloves. This is true. Oh, yeah, that's true. You'd be fucked in PUBG. Yeah. You couldn't even shoot your gun right. No, you, you wouldn't be able to hold the. You'd be like <laughs> holding it backwards. Right. Well. It could work though. You just, I feel like you'd get used to it. You know, like people get used to not having hands. Yeah, but that's when they're born without them. That's not necessarily not really. true. <laughs> I feel like you could definitely. Lose I'm a sure hand. there's a lot of people that lost their hands and got used to it. But what about the ones that didn't, that really wish that they could have a superpower? <laughs> you know? This is all ever. for nothing! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Why'd I stick my hand in that wood chipper? <laughs> uh, Why did I go to Iraq? <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody that comes back says. Though. You don't have to lose a hand. That's what everybody who goes to Iraq in general says. That's even the people in Iraq. That's what I just. Yeah. That's what I just said. Oh, yeah, man. but you said the people that come back. Oh yeah, they don't all come back. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's some bad shit. I feel it, it's so it's weird all. though. Like if if there's an explosion and it only gets your hand, like what the fuck situation were you in? <laughs> right. Toast. You were holding a a firecracker. <laughs> that's what that is. What if the toaster blew up? Yeah, I guess. I feel like that. <laughs> You know, I hate when toasters fucking blow up. Like, when they pop up, and like you can't get to whatever's in there. You gotta push the handle up. I know, but it's sometimes that's no, not enough. No, you gotta hit it like yeah. you gotta hit it like with some. So I know, it yeah, bounces. That's I, so it that's bounces, and you gotta do. catch it. Yeah. It's a, it's mm-hmm. a, it's a game of semantics and finesse, really. Yeah, yeah. like they the top, the top it. of the English muffin is smaller, uh-huh. so you gotta like get it to. Yeah. I, they could fix that, I was going to say, but it, it makes it fun for you to use the toaster, so... Yeah. Why fix something that's just get a toaster, already there? Just get a toaster oven. Yeah, just put it in the toaster oven. I feel like it's... that's it's The toaster's too fucking antiquated. It's primitive. They gotta reinvent, reinvent the toaster. Reinvent the See, toaster. I, want a, I want a microwave that does the opposite. That makes things makes cold. Makes things cold. Really that's fast. called a refrigerator. Or yeah, a but it's not as fast. Like a, fl- uh, they have like a flash freezer, I think, somewhere. I I remember watching a cooking <clears> show, <throat> and this guy was like, "Yeah, I put this thing in the flash freezer so it could freeze fast." And I was like, "What? That's a flash. thing." Ah! Yeah, something freezer! about. <laughs> flash. Freezer! You could just get ice water. <laughs> just pour ice water on it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Do that to your pizza. Why not? You have watery pizza. You got a wet pizza. So? You asked for it, dude. You wanted yeah. cold pizza. Yeah, right. Your intention was to make it colder. Like, yeah. <laughs> why would you ever in- intend to make the pizza colder, though? Some people prefer cold pizza, but they're savages. Yeah, but you can just wait. <clears throat> just wait cold it out. Cold pizza is good, though. You just wait it out. Yeah. The whole I like of- room temperature pizza. Like, when you leave it in the box... Over there somewhere. Yeah, like for a night. while. <laughs> Over there. So. Uh, for a couple minutes or, or several. Play a, play a couple rounds at pub. And yeah. then come yeah. back and be like, oh yeah, I ordered that pizza. Which Perfect is like time. five minutes because you <laughs> drop at the prison and immediately get killed every time. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it's because you got no balls. Um, He's got too, too big of balls. 
<laughs> He's over there. I'm on just Instagram. admiring his wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, do you like that? With filthy Frank. <laughs> it's filthy Frank squaring off with Bane from uh uh from Batman. Star Wars. Dark Star Wars. Dark Dark Bat. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Um, Man Bat. <laughs> Man Bat dog. So is this green or is it yellow? I think it's a uh, Slimer color. I, th- <laughs> I think when I see it, I think of Slimer from Goosebumps. Yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a radioactive color. I'm gonna become a Goosebumpster. A go- I- Who are you gonna call a Goosebumpster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> We should have. What we should have done is placed uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> done clear shots played and just played Power Rangers. Now we're talking. <laughs> you should like get Power Ranger minis and hide them in the camera shots, mm-hmm. and then have like a like a Where's Waldo type situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Where's Waldo situation where they can gets them to gets. No, we just put them all right here. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, you. I say that because you watch like other podcasts, and there's always like shrinky dinks and shit yeah, that people dinks. put around, nah. like little tchotchkes <clears throat> that people like yeah, to like chia pets and rat. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do those work? I have no idea. Chia 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 chia. That's the best part about yeah. paying for Hulu without ads because I don't have ever that shit chia pet in my ads. face ever again. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about Hulu is there's not enough Chia Pet ads. No, I haven't gotten a Chia Pet ad. I'm you don't get offended. you don't get them, but you get fucking dumb ads. Yeah, you get dumb ads for sure. You the get... you know what I found on YouTube? So I fucking I don't have YouTube. Nobody has. Does anybody have YouTube Red? No, nobody does. Okay, just making sure. Uh, so I listen to podcasts when I go to bed. I throw them on my TV, and uh, like go to bed. Well, I woke up a couple hours into it, and, you know, they don't stop like Hulu. It just keeps going. Oh. There was an ad that was an episode of a YouTube Red TV show that was an ad that I didn't skip, and it was, like, 22 minutes left, and it was just playing a full fucking different thing on YouTube as an advertisement. Mm-hmm. Wh- what? Yeah, yeah, they've, I've seen that happen. Before. You ever see that shit? Or no. you get ads that are like ten minutes it's, long. It's you can ad, skip them. It's set up yeah. as an ad, but it's an entire video basically. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they like the they know streamer like pays attention. for pays for them to like play my thing as an ad, so that I get views. Yeah, I wonder fuck. if they count towards views. That uh, would be. Uh, that sounds sketchy. I feel like. I wouldn't count that as it doesn't a view. seem fair. I feel like you put it if you click on it, then you can you get a view, but for the ads, yeah, yeah. The way YouTube like monetization it's just, it's works, it's like is, clickbait kind it's, of thing. Um, it's the amount of minutes watched per video, yeah. but you need X amount of unique people watching it for it to even acknowledge it. You need to have at least a thousand subscribers per month, like a thousand right. new ones. And you also need to have, I think, a hundred hours watched per month, just to get like put in the program. I think it's like a number of total views or something to be eligible for it. It's minutes. It's minutes and subscribers. They changed it a while ago. There was a big thing about it. Hmm. It used to be minutes and ads, but now it's what I just said. I can't remember. Minute. It's. It used to be minutes and then unique subscribes and then that's what it is now. Yeah, is amount of time watched and unique subscribers. I mean, couldn't you just like make a bunch of alt accounts? <laughs> <laughs> just do a bunch of alt accounts and play all your videos constantly. Maybe, but like, they could probably repeat. debunk that really fast. I mean, if you go out of your way to do that, maybe. But because <laughs> apparently you there make a were... hundred thousand alt accounts, right? Were... You spend like. <laughs> Like five thousand dollars on computers that run your yeah. videos you constantly. A bunch of servers like running your own videos. All I know is that there was a thing where people would make videos that would blow up and get millions of views, and with all that, YouTube would have to pay them or Google would have to pay them like 
five to ten thousand dollars because of all the ads and all that. Really? But that'd be the only video they ever made, and they'd constantly be making money off of it, and they wouldn't make uh, anything else. So YouTube only wants to pay people that are constantly making new material. Yeah. Right. The the only way to really make money on YouTube is to post like every single day. Yeah. Like that's the only. You have way. to be like a like a vlogger. You have to be yeah. like like mm-hmm. that's what PewDiePie does now. He doesn't even do let's plays anymore. Every day is, I mean, it's all unique content, but he only plays a video game like maybe once every other week. And yeah. then you have other people that just like record themselves doing stupid shit, record and, themselves walking around town and like going to restaurants and stuff. Well, how it works too is like uh, you have your subscribers. Like if you if you have a bunch of subscriptions set up, you'll see the ones that you watch the most first. Mm. So like the more videos they're posting, the more you're watching. Right. And the higher up on your subscription list it's going to be. So okay. you're, gonna, you're more likely to see it and watch yeah. their videos again. Right. And that's the problem, too, is because there's guys like Red Letter Media that I love watching that only post like once or twice a month. So it's way down and you have to and go you, look. Like, they've posted three new videos in the past few weeks that I don't even know about because they don't pop up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, and they also changed it now so you have to hit the little bell thing. Yeah. To get, like, alerts on new new videos or whatever when they publish it. Yeah. I used to get those all the time for certain channels, but I don't anymore. I, I got rid have... of all of them, basically, because they were going to my phone and it was getting really annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I barely, I don't even use YouTube unless it's something I'm, like, specifically looking for a video for. Like, I, don't I, I like it just because that's where most of the podcasts well, yeah. are and video yeah. game stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That's about it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I use it for. But I listen to most of the podcast audio form. And that, unless it's like a video and I'm here, if it's a video form, I'll watch it on mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Like the Sleepy Cabin podcast is exclusively audio, but they have a cool little setup that's like a, the background, it's like an animated cabin in the forest and stuff. So, if, you know, it's sort of like a screensaver, but it's yeah. just nice to look at. Yeah. yeah we, should get a, the, we should get a screensaver. Ooh. I'll show I, I, on the we'll break. I'll show doing, you. I'll show you what it looks like. We'll just stop doing really videos cool. again. Uh, we'll just stop doing videos and we'll just do a screensaver. <laughs> Sweet. It's the way to do it. Nobody mm. wants to look at us anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like uh, <laughs> the only things. <laughs> <laughs> like defeated like <sighs> I, I I think the only that's only I think it's podcasts and there's like two YouTubers that I watch basically I well, watch not even PewDiePie. YouTubers like, like admittedly I do he's I just like watch him he reminds me of when I was happy and a child I've been PewDiePie? watching PewDiePie oh okay I I've never I've been watching I don't know that, that one is. kid from uh, there's a kid that plays PUBG He's from like Cloud Nine Gaming, and he's wicked good. So I watch his videos. Wes? Huh. Yeah. I. I think he's from Cloud. How do you Nine. get? I don't know. Is it like the game he's good at? Like he's good at killing people. Or he's good at like surviving? a bunch of games. <laughs> no, I'm I mean, talking yeah. about the guy from Cloud Nine for PUBG. Yeah, he. Uh... He knows how to set up his controller settings, so he's just clutch yeah, all, it's all the about time. about controller settings. Oh, uh, I don't know. He's a pretty aggressive player. It's like when you're getting like 11 kills a game in that. It's like you, you, yeah, you're obviously pretty aggressive. <coughs> Fuck, that he's was got loud. the strats. Yeah, it's the strats. It's all about the strats. It's always ever been about the strats. My, my strat is get in the circle and get in a building and then lay down on a bed <laughs> for like the ne- next three minutes until the circle moves. As far away from me as it possibly can. Yeah, because you're laying on the bed. They're like, wake up. You got to move. Yeah. <laughs> Go all the way across the map where you're going to definitely get shot and you have no vehicles. My strategy when I play with you and your brother is... Uh, Die? N- no, <laughs> Die I'm first. usually second best. I'm usually <laughs> second best. I'm usually not the one that's like a fucking kilometer behind. <laughs> where are you guys? We left. When? Like five minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Circles closing in. <laughs> we we are all the way across the map. 
No, my strategy is usually s- fucking pick where we go, and then whenever whenever somebody else is like, no, let's go this way, I'm like, oh, I'm already headed to this place. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's always one that does that. It's hilarious. Anytime I play with any group, there's somebody that's doing that. It's fun. Like let's hey let's go check these buildings. Like we bring we drive a car up to a group of buildings. Everybody gets out and then we're like oh everybody we assume everyone's gonna go check these buildings yeah. and then one guy goes running off fucking he's like <laughs> oh That's I thought we were me. checking the buildings we stuck like across no, the map. <laughs> nope, I'll straight up just be like all right you guys go check these ones I'll watch these ones and I'll go over there usually yeah. drink a beer and sit in the corner <laughs> <laughs> away from the action. You go that way. Painkillers. <laughs> You go that way. I'll go home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just takes, takes painkillers and energy drinks. Well, with one man squad, I try and just, uh, I try and find a M4 or an M16 or a sniper and a scope. And then I just stay on the border of the circle the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I just snipe whoever tries to come in. There and then go. I move up. Yeah. Cause you know, people are going to be coming in from this, from the circle. From yeah. The blue circle. That's what's, yep. what's good to do is get, to the shortest part of the circle. So like where the white circle is closest to the edge of the blue one. Yeah. Cause it, it moves really slowly over there and you know, no one's there either. So, yeah. well like what we were, Sean and I were talking about right when I got here, we found this, we dropped there probably four or five times straight. It's just a, it's a two story house or it's two, two story houses and a little farm barn. There's always good weapons in each spot and there's always a car right across the street. So every time we drop there and there's a car, I grab the car, I park it in front of one of the buildings, open up all the doors, and then we hop in the other building with all the doors closed and just camp. And every time we take out a whole squad. And it's the funniest shit. Yeah, there's one over by the school, like over near the apartments, that's almost always got a car in the garage. Mm-hmm. And then it's got a two-level house and then like a couple of other buildings on the side. I just I'm obsessed. It's fucking dangerous. Yeah, I mean it, you only got one life, so yeah, it's yeah. dangerous. Yeah. It is. Yeah, you got a good point there. <laughs> so Paul, you got to get that so we can play together. It looks cool. It, it definitely looks like a fun game, and I yeah. like how they can be really fast. Yeah. They could. The fact that I'm enjoying it after talking shit about it for a year straight means that it's <laughs> probably a decent game. Yeah. I was. I, I had my doubts so about it because against it for the longest time. I had my doubts because I had played uh, like Fortnite, and I was like, I don't like this at all. Like, I fucking yeah. can't stand Fortnite. And then I was like, Well, I'm gonna try this one because it looks more realistic. <laughs> it's not a fucking cartoon. And I watched some people play it, and I was like, Okay, this seems reasonable. Jamie, uh, young Jamie, plays it. He plays it on. He has like a YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. You know what I found out? Uh, speaking of YouTube channels, uh, the guy from the movement, uh, Jack Garbarino, you know, the Nathan for You episode. Oh, of the okay. Movement, yeah, yeah. He's got a YouTube channel and he's fucking crazy. Yeah, he probably is. Dude, he's, he's on f- Nathan for You. Dude, he's yeah. super, <laughs> super. He's an. He's got to be in the alt right. It was like after, after the. I can't remember. It was after a shooting. I don't know if it was recent. It was a shooting whenever it happened. Like last after year, one of those shootings. After one of those shootings, he got on YouTube and posted a, like a three minute long rant calling everybody that was under the age of 18 snowflakes. Don't be scared of guns. If if any of you stood up against that shooter, less people would have died and all this other that's stuff. That's like the opposite. <laughs> that's so retarded. Oh, that's dumb. That's just. <laughs> Yeah, but that's he's the guy who's Dude, not... he's staring into the camera, not blinking. He's yeah, just like, he's like, you should have just ran right at him. You would have saved so many lives if you just ran right at him. Yeah. You gotta, you can't be a snowflake in that situation. <laughs> like, shaking. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, man. he's right. He is yeah, right. right. But... If you... You should definitely kill yourself to stop this. Imagine, though, if you survive. That's his logic. How much pussy would you get if you saved... Imagine if all the hot girls were in one classroom. And you're like, fuck that! I'm gonna go save them. And you tackled the guy and you took him out, dude. You're you're drowning in puss at least until the end of the semester. You're thinking about high schoolers right now, right? <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> as a high schooler. <laughs> you never were in high school thinking about like, what if a shooter came in right now? Okay, but this is the the you know guy that's giving advice is also the guy that got that 
claimed that he got ripped from moving boxes. <laughs> yeah, but he was paid oh, to say God. that. He was paid to say that. Yeah, I would do. I would say and do a lot of things for a good amount of money because he apparently got paid a ton of fucking money for that. Yeah, like I haven't looked into like what they get paid and shit from from Nathan for you because he had to do a bunch of non-disclosure agreements and contracts in order to even like they made him go on the fucking national news and stuff yeah well that's lying those... lying to millions of people I mean that's one of those shows where like after you like after people know who you are and shit it kind of loses its well that's why yeah. they take so many breaks yeah because they to, take cause... like a year or two off in between every season I yeah. didn't know that. That show's been around since my freshman year of high school. Okay. That was seven years ago. They've only done four seasons. Mm-hmm. The yeah. first, the first like it's, season it's, it's was like, the one where they had goat in the water. Yeah, I feel like it takes a long time for them to find content for that yeah. show. That like actually they can snowball into you know their niche of distorting the it's like, truth um, of I, it. I wonder or, what they like. They must pitch themselves as like a businessman because he does have like he's literally got like a degree in business and shit. Yeah, he's got like yeah. a master's in business yeah. and economics he's yeah. a smart fucking guy like he actually would be able to help these people yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he is in a way that's, he kind of that's what I'm saying though is but it's like... just the most convoluted way he can possibly think <laughs> Dude, of right. the best but... episode will always be the electronic store yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that the alligator one <laughs> He puts yeah. an alligator in the closet. If you can get past it, you can you get a you yeah. get a fifty inch TV for a dollar. <laughs> I always liked the one with the, the mail in rebate where they had to like go on a hike. Oh trip. my god! Yeah. <laughs> that one. And the, they at had the to very go on end, a hike. At the very end, it showed how much money all these people saved. And yeah, it was, it was like, like less four than bucks. ten bucks. Yeah. Each, like, they had to go on a hiking trip and just to get the slip to mail in to get for the mail in rebate. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then they had to do like a night out camping. Yeah. To put it in the mailbox that was on a mountain. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. And I think part of them did it too, though, was because they knew they were being recorded for a TV show, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there were cameras, so it's like. Yeah. And he kept pushing it back, like, uh, we need to stay another night and shit. <laughs> right. Like, obviously pushing it back. <laughs> Just like trying to push them to the limits where they finally give up. It's like, that's what was so gold. Well, actually, Eric Andre is still good. Because now that it's famous, they have A-list celebrities that go on yeah. there. Like, they had Dennis Rodman on there for really? one episode. The Dennis Rodman interview awesome. is the greatest one of all time because Dennis Rodman made Eric Andre feel weird. Like, he made him and Hannibal <laughs> fucking like, what? <laughs> like, it was so fucking weird. Why doesn't he have a TV show? That dude should Dennis have Dennis Rodman? Fucking, yeah, he should have a De- the Dennis Rodman show. Because he's friends with Kim Jong-un. So? That's why he doesn't have a TV show. Yeah, he should have Kim Jong-un on. Be Bro. dope. Bring him to it's just America, a late night talk show. Definitely not crazy. <laughs> the interview, with the TV series. Oh my god! He should have taken over the fucking Daily Show. <laughs> that would oh have actually have been awesome. God. He probably just doesn't. He's probably too messed up to actually be a, a like a host of some sort. <laughs> probably. You know, he went like, sober for uh, his resolution. He's been, but he's probably still fucked beyond belief. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how like, many people have actually done their resolution is the real question. There's a certain point. I'm doing okay. I quit smoking. Sort oh, of. Okay. I don't ever sort make of. a resolution. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. I never make one because I, I always I stop feel... Buy, I stop buying cigarettes. Okay. I still yeah, smoke yeah. cigarettes. I don't buy cigarettes. <laughs> I just I just, uh, I just ask for other people yeah. for them. Yeah. But that, that doesn't happen often. Only when I'm here. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I only have one left. You've only had one left for the past like two weeks. I know because I don't smoke cigarettes, except for sometimes. Yeah, that's <laughs> same here. I could never, I never could stand cigarettes. I don't know what it was. They just fucking didn't make me feel good. They I don't think, make you I feel think they good. They taste good. They make you dizzy. <laughs> and that's the first thing they do. And that's about it. I like the taste yeah. of a nice menthol. And then uh, it wears off after like a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah you start, sm- you smoke a whole pack and then you're just like, all right, I, yeah. this is, I'm used to this yeah, now. I, yeah. I usually smoke the whole pack at once. I just <laughs> grab the pack, still with the shrink wrap right. on it, and you just light that side. What the fuck? There was a movie that did that. Like the guy like <laughs> takes a pack out and just like lights the whole pack and it's just like, oh my God. 
they invent things that you can put. It looks like a fucking a six shot cylinder for a revolver that you can put cigarettes in oh. that goes into like a funnel that you oh, like a super cigarette That's funnel. Funny. That's I think they're made for up. joints and blunts and stuff, but they you can put you some... can put cigarettes. In. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a scummy thing to do. Dude. That's disgusting sounding. I want to see someone <laughs> do that. You get like that's such a dose of tar. Like that. Dose <laughs> of tar. <laughs> you might as well just lick a bucket of tar. It's not even humane. You might as well just drink Flex Seal. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. I feel like that's when you need to make a New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> with smoking when you're using a six chamber cigarette holder oh my god I've been I feel attached you're smoking attached, like 18 attacked? packs a day is it a, I feel attacked or attached both yeah it's please, out. please, please out. out please out is it please out or is it please out <laughs> please that's whatever, whatever you want, want it to be <laughs> <laughs> well, well your text you sent do you want beer or malt liquor eat either or both <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is it either or either? It's either. either or. It is either. What or. other words are like that? A lot of words are like that. Either or either. Again. <laughs> Get again, the fuck again, out. Again, again. Again, again. Whoa. Is that my phone? Yeah. Boom. Where is my phone? Boom. 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 Shield, shield's charged. It's right there. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> That's not the one. You got a new one? Yeah. Oh, can I have the old one? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that yeah. one? Huh? What's that one? This is mine. No, what is it, though? It's a galaxy. No, it's not. Dude, that is, is the galaxy. No, that's the galaxy. That's Dude, mine. I live in the galaxy, the galaxy that is not where I'm Is that the Nexus? No, it's a galaxy. What? Which galaxy? Uh, S6. Oh. Is it? That's Wait, that's what I got. Dude, you don't even no. have a case for it. But I got the Edge. Yeah, he's got the edges. Why Dude. didn't you get the edge? I thought you were going to get a Nexus. I don't want the edges. I did get a Nexus. I don't want What's the edges. What's that then? This is a Galaxy S6. Why do you... I'm going to start screaming. No. It's a Galaxy S6, dude. I'm going to start shitting if you start so screaming. I, so what happened was I bought a Nexus 6P, and it was used. Oh, my God. And the they were like, oh, it's a, it's a floor... It's a floor, floor model. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Um, That's fine. It's probably going to work. Fine. Didn't work? So it's like 9 out of 10 condition. It worked, and it was working great for a while. And what is going on? Discord is blowing up right now, still. Dude, all right, it's all those Pokegoers. It is the Pokegoers. So I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this because the seller has wicked good reputation. You only had it for like a couple days. I had cause... it for like a weekend. Yeah. Uh, seller has wicked good re- reputation. Conditions good, and I had read that like uh, the six P had like battery issues, but like with a really small percentage of users. And you just so happy to get small that small percentage. Small percentage. Yeah. and so I get it, and uh, it works fine for the first day. Then the next day, I it, it literally would shut off and then restart. Like it would reboot. It rebooted like probably six times within like a fifteen minute span. <laughs> Whoa! So I was like, "Oh, this battery's fucked." Like that's yeah. it. And it was. Yeah. It's one of those phones where you can't take the back off of it. Amazing. I don't know if you can no do that on way. here. Uh, no, you can't no, do it with the S six either. And a lot of the new phones that's you can't. Bullshit. You know what's great is that my phone was fucked too when I bought it because you were here when I fucking found out about it. Oh yeah, it happened to both of us. With this one's a dead pixel. This one's brand new though. Yeah. Fuck, so you're sticking with the S6? We're going to be some S6 boys? Yeah. I'll be the edgy one? Yeah. Sweet. I don't like all the bloatware that's on it, though. No, I had to spend my like solid two hours getting rid of it. Like, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram come pre-installed. I don't want Facebook. I, yeah. I jerk off on Instagram. I don't use Twitter. But then there's all those Samsung apps that are just shittier versions of And there's of a Samsung app. store and, yeah. like, all that other shit. Yeah, I don't know if I told you about this. Seth was here when I found out about it. I've bought this like two weeks ago it, I bought it on Amazon came in and uh, see that half circle there oh yeah dead pixels yep yeah. that's not supposed to be there no because yeah. they're dead yeah and uh rip I bought I just, the phone I just want to say how casually we ingested the fact that you're just like I jerk off on Instagram and like <laughs> didn't use <laughs> stop talking about the phone that's pretty much what Instagram's used for now yeah, isn't it I could imagine I know a, 
a lot of people that use that for that. Mm-hmm. I don't Instagram, go on Visco, it. and Tumblr. Yeah. To name a few. Yeah, people pretty much. Tumblr, yeah, that's always been a porn site, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I, the problem was I bought that brand new. It was like three fifty, and they sent me a used one that they didn't even wipe on the break. I'll show you. I have like six hundred something photos, family photos. Why didn't you just factory reset it when you? Because. When you got it? I don't want to factor reset it and have them be like, oh, well, you just you just want a new one because the pixels are dead or because of this or that. I'm not going to factor reset it because I'm sending it back. That's why I want oh, my iPhone are? back. Oh. Yeah, I had to get this back first. Oh, I didn't know you were sending it back. Yep. But yeah, I, I just only... sent the other one back today. Yeah, so I'm sending it back. Uh... That looks like a heart. It's a sweet oh, island. Oh, it's an island. Thursday? Yeah. It's in Croatia, dude. I think it looks like a ball sack. Isn't that what a heart is? Does. Yeah, I guess so. Or it looks like a butt with poops coming out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what that one's doing. That one's coming down on the on yeah. the butt. That's the yeah. elbow. I need to figure out how to back this up so I don't have to spend 72 hours setting the phone up. Is it all tied to your, like, Google account? It's going to be. Is yeah, that just what do you that. Do? Yeah. Because I was pretty pissed. And, uh, yeah, so my my dad and I, because I I don't have Amazon Prime, my dad does. So he bought it on his account, and so we ended up talking to the seller. And he goes, "Yeah, yeah I suddenly sent you a used one." And it's like, "No shit!" We're like, "You didn't even wipe it." And he goes, "Oh, that happens." <laughs> okay, buying it from AT and T, like an AT and T store. Wow. Are you you got to pull your SIM card out too, don't you? Yeah, that's all I I like to do is swap them. Yeah. But that's easy to do. So I'm swapping the SIM card, sending this back, getting a new one. But I okay. like it. My only problem with it is that I'm not used to a big phone, and my palm, like this part, is really meaty. So mm. I'm clicking shit all the time. That's probably bigger than this one, though. This one's actually kind of small compared to my other one. Or my the screen, old one. the screen for this phone is big, is the same size as my whole old phone. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna take me at least six yeah. years to get used to the size. Yeah. It also gets awkward I mean, in there's, pockets. Yeah, yeah there's plus there's there's pros and cons. And yeah, there's pros and cons to big screens. I like the big screen to be able to see things, but I also don't need a I big screen. I did miss this phone though. Like, right. this you, it's it's not like you're phone. watching on a video all the time on it, you know? Yeah. And even when you are, it's your fucking phone. Like you yeah. can hold it a little closer to you if you want it to. Right. <laughs> it's in your fucking hands. Yeah. Yeah, like this phone was great. The only problem with it is that I think I was telling you about it. It's the iPhone 5S, and Apple apparently won't be supporting it. Yeah, Apple doesn't. The... Apple wants you to buy the new one. Fuck yeah. off, because we had this argument before. This phone's like eight years old. Find an eight-year-old Android that still works. I, don't I can know. do that. Yeah, there's a bunch of eight-year-old Androids that work. That still get the same updates and all that? No, uh, not the I same updates. That, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, what to operating system is that on? This is whatever the newest one is, 11 or 12 or whatever. But it's they're not going to give it to the next Support. one They're because not, right. like I said it's like a 7 year old phone I think Yeah, this phone came That's out when crazy. I was like a sophomore Yeah, it's it crazy on... it takes 7 years and it's dead you know like like I still play N64 that's been around for like almost like 20 years now yeah it didn't get any. Yeah, but uh, they're didn't also get software updates. But I, <laughs> yeah, that's the this thing. This is also true. This is also true. I like N64 isn't running iOS 11. Yeah. Because I wanted Should to be. get just an S4 or S5, but that's... you can't even buy one of those that's still supported. So I had to spend the extra, like, 70 bucks. I feel like you can. You just wouldn't get, like, Android 8. Like, exactly. You wouldn't get Android. That... You'd probably get, like, Android 5 or 5.1 or something. Like. And that's the same thing. But since it's Apple, it's like, ah, fuck that. Uh... I mean, really, like, there's not much of a difference. No. but <laughs> The I only difference like is to... that certain apps won't be compatible with that version of Android or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but the problem is is what if there's an app I've been using constantly that they update and it's like, oh, you're fucked. Right. And I don't want that to happen. Because I like this phone. But I'm also not going to spend... The only problem with Apple is if I wanted the iPhone version of the S6 Edge, it'd be like five or 600 bucks instead of 350 And the mm, S6 yeah. Edge is more powerful anyway. So there's no point in sticking with Apple. Right. That's true. I just went cricket, man. I went cricket, and I haven't had a problem. Not a I single do AT&T. Thing. I've had paid. great data. Straight talk, dude. Good service. Like, nothing wrong with it. I pay, like, 
fifty two a month. That's where I'm at. Yeah. I think mine's forty. See, nine. I don't mind like like because with Straight Talk you get the you use like AT and T or Verizon towers, so you're getting that service. Yeah, mm. like the same service, but it's like it all depends on the model of your phone. So like certain phone models use Verizon and certain right. use AT and T. We have the same thing too, where you might have it too, where if you want to get a phone, you have to buy it unlocked. There's no contract, mm-hmm. yeah. which is good and bad. It sucks because you're buying a phone completely outright. Yeah. Yep. Which is, with Straight Talk, it could you, be risky. it's the same thing. You can just buy any and use, you just have to buy a SIM card for like a yeah. dollar. Yeah. yeah. You're really paying for a SIM card. Yeah. When it's you're like, like tr- paying them. It's, I, I don't know. I'd never want to be on like a plan and have to pay for a phone all the time. It's yeah, just not, that was, it's not worth it. I mean, I, I like the idea of free upgrades. That's cool. Yeah. I wanted to switch to Verizon, but since I'm still paying my student loans, they wouldn't let me sign up for a contract. Because my credit was only like four hundred, mm. or something like that. It's like three fifty, and I'm like, "Why is my credit so bad?" They're like, "Are you paying student loans?" And I'm like, "Yeah." For the next like <laughs> four years, five years, probably. You nope, have a I'm getting one. No. I have no. to, but yeah, I like having it just because I use it as a debit card, and then I just I'm also building my credit because yeah. I'm paying it off. You just you just pay it yeah. off every week. You can just, you just pay it off every sure, week. Yeah. Just don't go over like what you, is on your your limit. Yeah. yeah, like what's on your debit card, basically. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, if you get good enough credit on that card, you can raise the limit. And sh- yeah, which is something I've actually got to do with mine. I've had wicked good credit so far, and I've only got like a three hundred dollar limit. Yeah, I think mine's at five hundred. So and like it's like I don't really ever spend more than five hundred at a time. Yeah. Yeah. I am lucky Holy enough shit. not to have to spend three hundred dollars every week or some shit. Yeah, I can think of five hundred dollars of worth of something I could spend right now. Wait, I can think of something I could spend five hundred dollars on right now. Are we supposed to guess? <laughs> <laughs> or is that it? That's it. I think. <laughs> Another hand. <laughs> so that way I can have a, a dominant hand. So Another can... dominant hand. <laughs> so I can have a. No doubt, do- a dominant hand and a superpower. Okay, <laughs> yeah. here's the thing. Here's a hypothetical, but not, we're not involved. But what if, say, there's two separate guys that are gonna do a school shooting, but one of them starts first, and the other one that didn't start shooting yet takes down the first school shooter. Is he a <laughs> hero or a villain? He's a an anti-hero. anti-hero. But he, he wanted he wanted to shoot up the school. But then he saw this as a moment of, oh, fuck, I can, I can turn the tide. Well, if that's, he's still fucking wicked insane. <laughs> like, he's still he's very still out of his mind. Like, say, yeah. say the, the movie theater shooting, say a second dude, uh, let's name him, uh, Peyton Manning, <laughs> <laughs> was there and, like, he's Peyton always and, has like, a gun on him, you like, know that. He's there, and he's got like a like a Colt forty five or something. And all of a sudden, the f- first guy starts shooting. He goes, he's like, "Oh, I can't wait till this movie starts. I'm gonna shoot like that guy. I'm gonna shoot that guy. I'm gonna shoot those girls up there because they're drunk and they're Peyton eating popcorn Simpkins? really loud." Yeah, he's yeah, holding yeah, yeah, yeah. He just happens to be holding <laughs> Papa John's pizza. Yeah, and as, as he's thinking about killing all these people, Fucking all of a sudden the career. other guy comes up. James Vanderbeek comes up and he starts shooting everybody. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh fuck!" He goes, "I'm gonna save lives now instead." And he carefully sets down the pizza to the person on his left, and he takes the guy out. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know, but he's still a future. Well, how did he put the pizza down? Did he just? Was it like a? No, I I said gently, gently. (laughs) Okay, gently down. Then that's not so bad. Was that the point? No. no, Okay, no, 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 that was the. He brought the pizza into this. Do you think he's still a future Hall of Famer if he does that though? If he kills a guy, he's involved in like a shooting. If he saves (laughs) him, he had a great career. If he's a hero, he gets another. (laughs) <laughs> but no, but you know what I mean. The point was that like if you got two shooters, but they're and not one, together. and one's yeah, one's like <laughs> separate oh. parties. They're playing solo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they're playing. Or or we're talking PUBG. Or right? what if the <laughs> or a duo and the other one decides to rebel? Yeah, or, shoots his buddy. He's like, I'm on your team now. <laughs> friendly fire. Or if uh, the two Columbine shooters. What if like. When they started, and the first one started Just gunning people down. If Eric Harris started gunning people down, and Dylan Klebel is like, uh, you know what, uh, kills him, and then he surrenders well, right away. Yeah, he's still going to he's still going to prison, but 
at least he didn't kill anyone other than that. You know? He's going to prison for less time. <laughs> that's like, yeah, time. that's that's. <laughs> I mean, they didn't go to prison anyway because they out. both died. Well, yeah, they're all yeah. assholes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he wouldn't have died. So. Yeah, he probably would have not died. Yeah, because he saved. He stopped. He also it. surrendered. But I use save, but it's really not saving because he was involved in the plan. <laughs> he was the reason it. they were in danger. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he had a change of heart. Oh, like man. that's like me acting like I'm gonna run into Walmart with a knife and then deciding not to and being like I just saved you all <laughs> I just saved all of you <laughs> <All right, laughs> <box cutter. laughs> I just saved everyone's life it's, and what Jake's saying is it's like you running into Walmart with a box cutter and seeing someone else ahead of you doing that. And then you and, stab him and stab him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just happens to be right in front of me as I run in. Not only do you do what you wanted to do, but you're also now a hero. The timing yeah. of that is Quote, incredible. unquote. I'm doing air yeah. We just happen to be happens, doing it the same That only time. happens once in a great while. <laughs> That's why we're having so many shootings is because people are trying to pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> they're like... They're trying to, so they're all bad. bringing guns to school to stop the shooting, and when it gets to seventh period, there's no shooting, they're like, fuck it, I guess I'm the shooter. Yeah. The joke's on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the law of, like, anything that Murphy's could happen. Murphy's law? Yeah, Murphy's <laughs> law. <laughs> it's just playing out. That scenario is playing out in stuff. Murphy's law. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Somebody's got to run the metal detector, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but what if they pull the gun out before the metal detector? That's the problem, right? Yeah, there. now he gets to run the metal detector. Yeah, now he gets to run the metal detector. <laughs> He's own. He owns it now. Oh. <laughs> now, what would be? What if you know acid attacks? Right, like they have acid attacks overseas and stuff like that. We yeah, just have to worry about guns. We don't have to. I'd rather be killed than disfigured. Is that a bad thing? Like I was seeing all these acid attack aftermaths online and stuff. What, wait, what's an acid attack? They, people make, like, like acid bombs, or, like, they get sulfuric oh, acid okay, in, like, yeah, a yeah. container, and they just go, bloop! Yeah, they all of a sudden, like, here to someone. here is all melty. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. That <laughs> would like suck. Big... I would definitely hate being thrown liquid burn. Yeah, I you. would not... I would rather be dead than be yeah. 100% completely and utterly disfigured with yeah, no hope. Yeah, fuck of... that. They got so maybe it's better over here with the guns. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I definitely would rather be shot than burnt. Yeah, I'd rather be. Sh- I've know. heard that's better to like... be shot than stabbed. I heard being stabbed is worse than being shot. Probably. Well, yeah, you yeah. especially if they pull it back out and shit, and they're yeah. constantly stabbing you. <laughs> yeah, if they're constantly stabbing you, that's awful. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Because I mean, you, know you also have down. to think of the like puncture size. You know, with a knife, you're getting. Like inches of metal jabbed into your mm-hmm. skin. I feel like you'd feel that. Right. You feel well. Obviously, I feel like you feel, you feel it a lot in your, more. the nerves. You'd yeah. feel that a lot more than like the shock of being shot. Yeah, because the like, sound and all the everything that goes with it. I don't even think you'd really feel it, but you'd know. Like yeah. you'd know what happened. You'd get. You'd and feel you'd the impact. Out. All right, mm-hmm. so and then you feel the pain and the burning. I'd assume. So, it, what if? Now here's a change. I've been shot in my dreams a couple times, and it sucks. Was there a guy in a <laughs> Was there a guy in a bike telling you that you were dreaming? No, it's happened to me. No. Well, let's uh, <clears throat> we'll start with that one because we're at 58 minutes, 57 minutes. All right, so we'll start with that one next. But quick, what if you were going to perform an acid attack at the school that somebody else did at first? Would it be a good thing if you threw the acid on the acid attacker? Not at all. Not at all. I feel like the intentions what are if, bad either What if way. you run up to the acid attacker and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to throw the acid at you. And you set it down and the acid attacker turns around. He looks at you, pulls his face off, and it's your dad. And he goes, congratulations, son. You passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> I raised a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a fucking You should never dance. disfigure anybody. <laughs> like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, son. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> uh, fade out and laugh. Clear Shots Podcast is available on any of your favorite podcasting websites or applications. 
You can check us out at clearshotspodcast.com to hear any of the episodes. Also, follow us on Facebook. Uh, I think it's facebook.com slash clearshotspodcast to get there. And you can also check us out on Twitter at clearshotspod. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.